Jansen Harris here with the final play in the Jessica Network. The Hawks, they struggled against the Cavs. They lost 101 to 95. The three-point shooting wasn't there. They only shot 29%. Cavs only shot 25%, but I just thought the Cavs were just more physical. They were able to block a lot of shots. They were able to get their points in the paint. I thought they did a great job on John Collins. John Collins only had six points. But moving forward, I'll say this. Oh, can't forget, Cam Reddish. I thought he was impressive, 19 points. Moving forward, they have Philly tonight. I think a matchup to look at is John Collins. I think John Collins will have a bounce-back game. Remember, he got his money. He's feeling more comfortable. He doesn't have to worry about none of those outside dis distractions now that he has his contract. So look for him to play well. I think DeAndre Hunter, he'll continue to play well. Being able to guard one through four, arguably one through five, you should see that defense on display. I expect Trey Young to have a 30-point game, and I expect Cam Reddish to be right behind him with a 20-point game. I just need Clint Capella, hopefully, to get some offensive rebounds, block a couple shots. He is one of the top rebounders in the league, clearly. He's one of the top defenders in the league. So we'll see what happens. But I think a guy to watch out for tonight is John Collins. I think John Collins should have a huge game against the Sixers. And Cam Reddish should continue to play well as long as he, what, stays healthy. I'm Jansen Harris here with the final play on the Just Good Network. And we are sponsored by the Level 1 Game Room.